Hey guys, how are you now? I am... We're having a little bit of a hydraulic problem with our MX120. Uh, I've been talking to... Oh, a fellow that's uh, a good friend of mine who basically uh, learned his training on these tractors back in the early 2000s, so about 20 years ago. And uh, anyway, we're going through all of the, the, the things on what to try. Um, we cleaned the screen. There's a filter screen in the bottom here. It did have a few little metal filings in it, but not bad. Um, just going through putting a filter on here now. And these filters on these things are, they're kind of nuts. Like, uh, I've got to take the filter off here now. And, uh, it's, you're supposed to put, you're supposed to put a uh, O-ring on this guy right in here so that's great and then another square uh, seal on top of that and I remember last time I couldn't make it work it goes up on the base and then you screw up into it but I couldn't get it to work last time and uh, anyway I tried to do it that way last night, put it on, and, uh, and anyway, uh, it didn't work. So I gotta pull the filter back off, see if I can make it work. And uh, that's what's going on here right now. Just uh, working on this, getting some stuff kind of ready for spring, you know? But uh, just doing a bit of the, uh, in uh, drive shed maintenance stuff. But we do have a problem with the tractor. So my, my good buddy is gonna come help us with this rig. I really like this tractor. It's, uh, it's a good working unit. Uh, I wouldn't mind a, a 150. Uh, this is a 120. I wouldn't mind a 150 for the harvester or something like that. Two wheel drive, that'd be great. I'd love one of those. But anyway, um, we have these. We have we have a mix here of everything, guys. We've got we got an old Ford over there, which you can see the back over there with a canopy, and we've got some John Deere's. See over there, sixty-seven fifteen. Like we've got a bit of mix of everything. I'm not prejudiced on any equipment. I'm I'm good with whatever. So anyway, just want to show you what's going on here today, guys. I'm going under here now, and uh, this is where the filter is, right up in there, that white guy, that's the filter. I'm going to take that off now and uh, see if I can get that resealed better. So anyway, guys, I'll uh, maybe set you down and we'll see what happens. filter and she used to have one of these years ago it's just a strap and a piece of square um, square metal so you just put it on you wrap it you wrap it on your filter and uh, maybe you can see here you wrap it on your filter and then twist it and uh, You just do that and put a wrench on and tighten it a bit and it shouldn't hopefully not damage the filter I just want to get it off there we go it's sort of budged I'm going to do it again
because a lot of these grabber pliers and stuff will uh, will damage filter the you don't want to put a hole in it I always like this strap wrench it's it's real handy it was like ten dollars a princess auto can't beat it really so I'm gonna put some oil take the oil out of here now or hopefully it won't drip too bad there we go This is a square guy that was causing the problem. I might try and do it like I did last time without the square guy. Maybe some of you guys will think that's not good. I don't know, but put a, quite a few hours on it last time that way, so. here now so what I did is I started up and last night and as soon as it grabbed the hydraulic oil it blew a bit out so that wasn't gonna work so anyway Put this back on and we're trying everything we can to get this problem rectified, but I honestly don't think this is gonna solve it. It sounds like it might be in one of the small lines. I forget what my buddy said what it was. But I kinda understand what it is. It's like a it senses where the pump's at and, and wh where it needs to send the oil. And what's happening is when we hit float on the tractor, on your remotes, it's uh, shutting everything off. So, like everything was shut off. You can't steer, you can't do anything. So anyway, that's when and, and then when you can't steer or do anything, and then when uh, if you shut the tractor off, start up again, it's fine. And if you float again, like on your remote, say you're lifting a dump cart and you uh, want to drop the dump cart or say a disc or whatever, and you hit float, it'll just kick everything out. It'll uh, no steering, no shifting, anything hydraulic is gone. So uh, you turn the tractor off, start up again, it's fine. It's just like clears it. So anyway, that's what we're doing here now, guys. We're just trying this out and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna get in her, start her up and see if it leaks. Maybe I'll leave you guys here uh, and, uh, and uh, I'll, talk to you another time. All right. Have a good one, guys. We'll talk to you.